This has been a long time coming. So much FOMO after missing out in 2020. The 2021 Burger River Canoe Marathon about to get underway. Beautiful river levels, an absolute belt of a day here at Paul as the 60th anniversary edition of that very first race in 1962 finally gets underway. And there is such a buzz of excitement here. The legends have already hit the river. Kelki Vane, the boat that won the race in 1962, has done a ceremonial paddle past. And in a few moments' time, what is being billed as the most hotly competitive men's and women's race is about to get underway. There's so much at stake, but there's so much buzz, hype and excitement. This is everything that's good about the Berg River Canoe Marathon. From the word go, the three musketeers were going to set the pace in the men's race. Andy Burkett, Hank McGregor and Hamish Lovemore. There were a lot of concerted attacks, particularly amongst the three musketeers at the front of the men's race. Andy Burkett was trying to assert himself at every opportunity. If there was a gap, if he could get through an obstacle or a channel first, he certainly put the hammer down and tested the resolve of both Hamish Lovemore and Hank McGregor. But in the end, Hank McGregor was the man who pushed away and managed to get his nose ahead of Andy Burkett to the finish and of course claim the overnight bagging rights. I think the Western Capes is showing off today. I mean, nice, nice water level and uh, sunshine, no wind. <laughs> Top class racing field. Um, yeah, I think it's only fitting for the 60th burger. So, uh, yeah, super stoked to be back on the berg. Uh, I haven't been here since 2016, um, racing wise. Um, yeah, I just uh, thoroughly enjoyed today. In fact, the story of the day perhaps belongs to Luke Stoneman, the Paul local who's been training so hard for this, and he played above himself. Stayed at that front bunch until about 30, 35 kilometers in and was eventually rubbed off, but can walk out of the day with his force plate, which he finished on his own with his head held really high. The women's race was very, very different. The women started in the men's seated A batch, and it meant that they were very quickly left to their own devices. Nikki Burkett, uncertain about whether she had done the right training or the distance training, quickly opened up a gap over George. Jordan Peak and Bianca Bevitt making sure that all of them are staying honest is currently sitting in third. Yeah, no, it, it was a good one. I'm really stoked with my result today. Um, I got quite tired towards the end, so I had to dig quite deep, but it was a pretty hassle-free day, so I'm really, really stoked. Um, tomorrow is a new day, and I think it's going to be a lot more challenging, and so um, I'm happy that I've got a, a bit of time on the other girls, which, which will help. The backdrop here at Delsma Farm simply provides the cherry on the top for what has been a really special day on the first day of the Berg River Canoe Marathon 2021. And the mood has been euphoric, not just because there was FOMO of the cancellation in 2020, but the water conditions, the weather conditions have all combined to produce a really special day's racing. The racing has been white hot at the front in both the men's and the women's races. So much to talk about. But the mood here amongst the paddlers who are enjoying the occasion and now soaking up the memories and the war stories is one of a magical starting stage of the 2021 Berg River Canoe Marathon.